What's up guys, it's Vid here and today I'm going to show you how to install the Powercraft mod by Mighty Pork on a Mac. Now, before, kind of like, you know, as a different take on it, we all know that the instructions specifically state that for this to work, you need to download and install Mod Loader, download the zip file and through the download button, install the mod in the mods folder and then run Minecraft. Uh, so you see it right here. The problem with that is that it seems that this is for Windows. Now for a Windows user, obviously that'll work, and that's that's just how it is. But for the Mac, I had like it, it just took a while to figure out exactly why it wasn't working. Now I don't know if this is me because I'm just a like you know a recent user, but for other people who who just don't know what's going on, like and they start panicking and just start like like hyperventilating. I thought I would just briefly go through this and make sure that you know I could solve the problem. I can at least help people find out what's going on. Now, for us, when we download it, right, we uh, download and install Mod Loader. That's relatively simple. We download the mod. So I have it downloaded already, and it downloads as an actual just folder. So, at least for me, I don't know about anyone else. Like I said, I'm still a newbie, but whatever. Point is that we get a folder. Now, for us, right. How I have it installed is that I just have it installed. I just pretty much moved the folder inside the mods. Now I figured this would work. Figured this worked after like a day or day and a half trying to figure out why the hell did like it wasn't working. And I don't know if I scoured through the internet. I don't know what like I don't know exactly what I did, but for I I ended up just putting the actual folder in here. Now, as you realize, this this is this is what's gonna work. This actually works. Just putting the folder. But if you try to compress, let's minimize this so you don't get confused. If you try to compress the actual file, right, the actual this up here, if you try to compress that, you're going to get a zip file. But that's not going to work for the mod because what you did there was just compress the actual folder that contains the files necessary to run the program or to run the mod. So that's not going to work. So what you do is you just, right here, you just highlight everything and you compress that. No, crap. Yeah, so you compress those items, and you get something that says archive. We can find it. Let's change the view to this right here. Archive dot. So this is got this should work as well. This now this zip file is the compression of all these files inside the actual folder. Now specifically, I don't know if this works the way I just showed you the uh, compressing the actual files themselves. But since the way I have it set up works, I just don't want to mess with it. I just don't really care. I mean, it's the whole thing of just it working, so why should I mess with it? Now, the reason I go through with this is because when I tried downloading the or installing the texture pack that I was using, that I'm using right now, I had to go through the same thing. Compressing the actual file that I downloaded isn't going to work, but, because, but compressing the actual files themselves into a zip file is what's going to allow for this, in this case, a texture pack to work. So I have it renamed and everything, but so that, that's how it's gonna be. So and for you to for you to install the mod on a Mac, all you have to do is just compress, either compress the actual files themselves, or just move the folder that you download into the mods folder, and it'll it'll start working. Now, before we go, I kind of want to show you something right now, and it'll be a little teaser to uh, my next two videos. And right now, you'll see that we're in a room that's surrounded by obsidian and I have some items here because I tried testing this in, this thing out before to kind of be a smooth thing and it cracked out on me so before we do that let's get rid of all these items and get rid of uh no you're gone too because I don't want you in there so you see that we're, we're in a room full of uh, bedrock this is bedrock by the way nice texture pack glowstone conveyor belts and, and some sponges over there because they're useless right now so we're gonna use it just to for this little experiment oh the button's gone crap all right so, you'll see here that we have TNT, a lever, some redstone wired up, and put up there. Now, I have it set up like this because I did originally didn't have this block here, but every time this, uh, this TNT dropped, it, would just, it was, just wasn't working. So now, one thing I realized is that if you activate this TNT, it will drop, and for some reason, it will work just like any other weapon. In this case, let me just take out this thing because I need to put it on this door. It'll work like any other item that's dropped on a conveyor belt. Let's just start rolling, 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 rolling over there. But why But why does that work? Well, I don't know, right? But if we drop the... 
TNT, it seems that the TNT activator kind of acts like a little item, and I guess it gets transported. So, theoretically, we can just put a whole bunch of TNT right here, and have that thing just roll in. So we're going to take cover behind this bedrock here so we don't get blown up. So see? That's pretty awesome. So before we take out everything here, let's uh, collect it first. Let's turn this off. Collect all this and dump them. And we are going to go outside. And I'll stay right here for the teaser of how to run the miner, how to build the miner, and then over there is the fishing machine. So I'll see you guys later, and stay tuned. Peace.